The Secrets of Venus, Part 9 of 12, on Between Master and Disciples, giving in English, on August 29, 2009, in Los Angeles, California, USA. So if we go around accusing the drug user, people or drug manufacturer or drug maker or drug dealer, uh, then we are also uh, not too fair. Yes, if we can't change our, you know, eating habit, we can't expect a drug addict, the alcoholic, the cigarette smoker to change their habit, which is more difficult for them, more addictive, and no replacement. Meat has plenty, plenty, plenty of replacements everywhere, anytime. Don't even need it. <laughs> if we are tougher, we don't even need food at all. If we wanted to, we could live food free even. But okay, go ahead, eat something, it's fine. You know, habit, it's okay, why not? But what I mean is, meat is easy to replace, yes, compared to drugs, alcohol, and cigarettes. So now we have to change that. Yes? We yes. have to change that. If we want to expect all the drug users, the alcoholics and the cigarette smokers to quit, we must quit meat. Okay, love? I wish people realized how simple it is to uh, be yeah. a vegetarian. I know, so simple, simple. Just have it only, truly. After a few weeks vegan, you don't even remember what meat tastes like or looks like. You don't want to know. Yeah, then when you smell fish and meat, you want to throw up even. That's true, yes. When you look at the animal, people being slaughtered, your heart will feel wrenched, and your sleep will be troubled. It's feeling so sorry, so sorry for those animal people, and feeling so sorry for yourself that you have been cheated into degrading yourself thus far yeah, by eating animals eating the suffering beings. Okay, anything else? Um, that's Kido. all from me. Thank you very much, Master. You're welcome. I hope I have answered all your questions. Yes, Master. We'd like to tell you some good news. Good news? Oh, yes, that's we have all several we stories for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can relax. <laughs> oh, yeah, I relax. Now tell me all the good news. Yes. Yeah, oh. tell me. <laughs> Reverse go green, save the planet. <laughs> tell me, good news. We all know that in 2006, the United Nations said that the livestock industry causes 18% um, of all greenhouse gas emissions. Mm. Um, but then this year, we were informed by um, Dr. T. Colin Campbell, the respected scientist, and yes. also Dr. Richard Schwartz, uh -huh. um, another vegan scientist, that the livestock emissions have been found to be greater than 18%, and in fact, yes. more than 50%, as Master knows. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Um, the good news is that this truth will be printed in a scientific journal very soon. Wow, I like yes. that. I told you, 80%. I told you long ago. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, I told you long before they told this. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. Nobody listened. Now let the scientists tell them. Yes. Yes. It's so exciting. Right. And I think it's through all your efforts and prayers and concern and your efforts to keep reminding people um, about this issue that this study must have been able to come out and manifest and be printed. So thank yeah, you so not, much, Master. It's not me, but I mean, I'm part of it. Yeah? Are we all part of it? You know, it's not just what we do, it's the passion inside. 
yes, the, the passion inside that really touches people and enlightens the corner of their intelligence then they will be able to study all this. And thanks to all the gods, the angels from heaven, that manifest themselves now and then to help enlighten, awaken humankind. I am ever in debt to them. And to all of you, to all of you who help spread the news, who help to uh, gather the news, uh, research for news and shows, and who write the Uh, the script for the shows, uh, who light the stage, who type, you know, the scripts, who read the scripts with heart, you know, with passion, with true love. All this really helps to bring the result, uh, even though very minimal that we have nowadays. But it will be more, yes. Small steps, but they're good steps. I'm very, very happy. I'm very Thankful to all of you and all the gods and angels from a higher dimension who really help us. And from us, we thank you so much for showing us how to do it. Thank you so much. I'm just a very small part, small part. I know you work very hard. I always love you very much. We love you too. I'm very grateful, okay? Okay, more good news? Yes, Master. Tell me. Hi, again. Ah. I would like to share with you some of um, our experiences with the artists who came to perform at the um, anniversary concert. Yes. First of all, they were all very appreciative of uh, Master, and uh, they were very honored to be here. And um, many of them were uh, really surprised to learn how multi-talented master is. Am I? <laughs> they were really impressed and they, they really had uh, a lot of respect uh, for master and they felt very humble to uh, oh. be here. My pleasure, <laughs> my honor. Um, especially uh, I would like to highlight two of our uh, performers. Um, uh, Bob Kulik is one of them. Uh, he composed the music for your poem, uh, Our Time. Yeah, it was really a surprise for me to hear all of my poems uh, turn into uh, music. I was a, a little bit embarrassed, you know. <laughs> I, I texted to your organizer there. So I said, why so many? Uh, the program has like 20, and my poetry is about eight of them. I said, is this not too boring and uh, embarrassing? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone really enjoyed it. And they re replied to me, I said, we didn't plan to have so many of your poems uh, musicalized, but the composer wanted it. Yeah, I, I was a little bit shy, you know? <laughs> I was all surprised to me. I did not tell them to do that. I did not even know that this, uh, all those poems were made into um, music. I mean, one or two I knew before. Yeah, I heard before. But those new ones, it was the first time I heard them just like you. I feel a little bit shy, you know, a little bit blushing. <laughs> well, Bob Kulik, um, he said, and I'd like to quote, I was so excited about the song that we came up with that we should write another or a whole album. I think she could be a huge hit. I mean that sincerely. Oh. A whole really? album would be great. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, truthfully, I have never thought much of my poems. It's just I made them out of my feelings, yes? True feeling and true passion at that time. But coming from professional like that, I feel may maybe it's something, huh? <laughs> maybe it is something. My poetry or something. <laughs> it really touches people. Also, Bob Kulik added that uh, he really appreciates your kind treatment of the animals. He um, especially highlighted that. Oh, it's, it's, it's a natural thing to do for us. Yes. Anything else, honey? Also, uh, another artist, Al Jardine. Um, uh -huh. He used to be a member of uh, the Beach Boys. Yes. 
I remember the Beach Boys, yes. You know, we had the Benefit concert and they were one of our performers, the Beach Boy group, yes. Um, he was actually um, very anxious before the performance. Um, he really wished that Master will like the song uh, that he composed, the music. Sure I did. I felt <laughs> flattered. <laughs> flattered and honored. I was just kind of a little embarrassed because there were so many <laughs> in one program, you know? The audience really appreciated it. It really touched uh, their They like it. It's good. And uh, after the performance, he, uh, he did ask if Master liked it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Very much. Please tell him, I loved it. And I look forward to seeing it again on Supreme Master Television with all subtitles. <laughs> so I can share with the whole world. And uh, he also said that he would like to do a whole album. <laughs> <laughs> How? With what? Um, for your poems. Okay, if he can find something worthwhile, he's welcome to it. Yeah. <laughs> I think he'd be uh, really thrilled to do that. I never had the honor to meet most of those artists in person, except some I had seen before in a benefit concert. Yeah, to, to me, they were awesome, you know, like superstars. <laughs> So, uh, basically, it was a really big success and everyone was really touched, really sincerely touched. And uh, they all good. had a very good time and were very honored to be here. Oh, wonderful. wonderful. Thank you, Master. Good news. Master. Good job, good job. <laughs>